Good morning, everyone. How are you? It's this beautiful, cold morning where I am. And uh, normally I would be outside with the trees because I don't mind being outside, but I'm, I'm working right after this, and so I am down here um, at my office. So I keep getting different messages this time. I'm just going to kind of give it a couple minutes and let everyone get here. Um, so I hope that my settings are okay for you. It's saying that I'm losing my internet connection, which I have a pretty high speed connection, so I'm not sure what's going on here. Um, anyway, so thanks for being with me. Thanks for being here. Thanks for loving trees. Thanks for loving meditation. Thanks for being you. And what else? Just thank you. Thank you for everything. Uh, so I do want to give it just another couple of seconds here and see see what we've got going on, okay? Um, if you have questions, I do get to them. Um, or a lot of times I have an amazing helper with me as well and she gets them before I can. So either way, but if you have questions, do let me know and I will I will respond, okay? So, I want to go ahead right now and kind of start um, our very first meditation, which is letting go of the outside world. And the reason I really, really, really like this is because with meditations for me and how I've always taught them is to be a compounding effect. So when you're just racing racing in <sighs> okay it's time for me to meditate a lot of times we still have some of that residual stress of what's going on from the outside world so I like to get rid of that and to have you be present right here right now and it's not a not a huge meditation at all it's just a way of honestly of connecting with yourself um, and being in this very moment so that's what we're going to do. We are going to let go of the outside world and be present in this moment, no matter where you are. And um, I invite you now to go ahead and close your eyes. Take in a couple deep breaths. And I know this time we're going to be working on breath as well and just furthering that connection. Um, but for right now, just connect. Just let go of that outside world and find peace within yourself and be present. So take a deep breath, close your eyes, and breathing out. here in this moment. Opening your eyes. I 
just noticing how just that simple little piece can help so much of being right here. Uh, so, let's see. Today I wanted to also just read a little bit of poetry because I like poetry. Poetry makes me happy. I like reading it and I hope that you enjoy it as well. This one is about um, Mother Earth and you know the trees grow in Mother Earth. It's all a part of this one big connection. So while it's not directly about trees, it is about Mother Earth and you know just we are all connected that way. So if you need to, go ahead and meditate again just a little bit. That works out just for me, whatever you're comfortable with. This is just a short piece. And then we will get back into our, our meditation with trees and with ourselves and with the connection. So this is a piece by Suzanne Anderson. It is lovely indeed. It is lovely indeed. I. I am the spirit within the earth. The feet of the earth are my feet. The legs of the earth are my legs. The strength of the earth is my strength. The thoughts of the earth are my thoughts. The voice of the earth is my voice. The feather of the earth is my feather. All that belongs to the earth belongs to me. All that surrounds the earth surrounds me. I, I am the sacred works of the earth. It is lovely indeed. It is lovely indeed. So with that, uh, you know, it is that connection of way, just a being, being together, being calm, um, being within yourself as well. Uh, you know, be the feather, be the, the feather or be the leaf of a tree. And we have actually gone through and done that before. Of, of, um, uh, the, those videos are up on YouTube, but we just, we touched the leaves and just felt and we became one with that. So that's kind of the idea of that poem as well, being one with everything. We are one with the earth. So we're going to breathe today and it it's one of those things that I know that you know we breathe every day we always do this um, but with this one it, it's that furthering of noticing within our bodies what's going on so oftentimes I, or the easiest one for me to always explain is, is physical pain. And the easiest one is shoulder because you can see it in the camera here. Okay, so shoulder pain, if you're working with your breath, you can notice it. Doesn't mean that you necessarily have to do anything with it. Now there are things that we can do with it, but this one, this today what we're focusing on is just noticing, just noticing it and we can allow it to move a little bit if we need to. Um, so don't think that this one is anything um, uh, how do I, uh, like super big and like, oh my gosh, I'm gonna do this wrong or anything and there's this big procedure that goes along with it. There isn't, it's very simple. It's a way of taking a breath in, holding it, releasing it and just just looking around it's that internal eye that you'll use of looking around of what is going on with your body so that's the 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 connection with it today and you know it is very simple to do but being that it's meditation and connecting with ourselves I understand that those things can be difficult as well even after all the years I've done this, it is still difficult sometimes for me just to call my brain and sit in silence and be. So don't get worried about if you're doing anything wrong because you're not. You know, you can always reach out and ask if you have questions. 
Uh, but I'd really like to settle into doing our second meditation today. And I'd like you to kind of do this in a, a count of breathing in for two, holding for two seconds, and then breathing out for two seconds. Now again, you're not going to be able to do this wrong at all. So if you get on a different pattern and it feels better to do a count of three or four, then do that. Um, with this though, it's the pattern of, of the breathing, of the inhalation, the holding, and then the exhalation with it. And when you're doing all of this, just notice what's going on with your body. So I do invite you to close your eyes again. If you're in a place that that works. If not, you can always just kind of semi-close your eyes. It's just a way of, of shifting your perspective so that it's a bit more inwards and you're taking out the, uh, the visual, visual cues of what's going on. So now that you're comfortable, taking a breath in, <clears throat> for two seconds, and holding it, just notice what's happening in your body, and then breathing out for two. Comfort, breathing in calm, and I'm just going to allow you to work with with the the rhythm that you need with this. looking around, looking around your body, seeing if there's anything that's tight, needs some attention, needs just some extra love. or sore at all, and to allow it to move. Maybe your breath needs to go into your low back, and then move just a little bit with that inhalation, holding, and then your exhalation.
inhalation Slowly opening your eyes. Just being calm. So, how how are you with all of this? Um, I probably can't see the comments right now, but that's okay. I'll get it, uh, but connect in with me. So, for our final meditation, we're gonna really be doing the same thing, but I'm gonna pull in uh, a couple expressions just to uh, allow those to travel even more with your inhalation and exhalation. And notice the difference of that with it. Um, you know, I, I think most of you know that I personally really like a silent meditation. Um, but that's probably because I've done it for so long and that's just how I was taught with it, was to have it silent and I would just work with mantras. So for me, that's ideal. I, I have since learned throughout 
the 47 years of doing this that not everyone can do that. So I have, I have listened to you and I am shifting up what I do even more with my meditations because you're the one that I, I want to help guide with this. So I hope that's helpful anyway for you. So what we're going to do is with our final meditation is, is have um, some mantras that I'm going to go through and do, and, and they're not long. They're, they're my normal little simple, easy ones um, that make it very easy for our brain to digest and for to allow our bodies to connect with even more. All right, so again, work with your breath. If you need to count, do so, but get into your own rhythm. And, and like the poem said in the beginning um, that I read, you know, you're the feather of the earth, you're the, the leaf of the tree. You, you are connected with the earth. You're the breath of the earth. The earth's breath is yours. So keep that in mind if you need to. Um, connect, connection, notice. Notice if there's anything going on with you. If there is anything, don't get mad about it. Just... <sighs> okay, here we go. Learning something new about yourself. I think that's the biggest thing with meditations. When we're looking within like this, we look and we see things and we're like, ah, oh, I'm not fond of that. Okay, well, be kind. You're, all you're doing is looking at, at what is within you. Now is not the time to be angry about it or to give massive judgment or any of the other numerous things that we can do that are detrimental to us instead of that positive aspect, okay? So look, just notice, just notice what it is. Now's the time for noticing. So I do invite you to close your eyes again. Wiggle to release your shoulders, release your back. Okay, and breathing in. And take that breath, notice it further. If there was any areas that were stuck last time, just maybe take your breath there and see what's going on. And as you breathe in, breathe in expansion. I breathe in expansion. I breathe out expansion. Continuing with your cycle of breathing. Breathing in and breathing out, expansion. Breathe in health. Breathing in health. And it's breathing out health. Your body radiates health. I breathe in health.
Breathe in health. cycle of breath, your personal connection. where you are, then I'm going to invite you to do so. For me, it is time for me to be going. So if that's the case for you, then slowly opening your eyes, coming back to your full awareness. Uh, but I understand if you, if you have the time and the inclination and are in that spot, then by all means, stay where you are, okay? Uh, Thanks again very much for being here with me and I look forward to doing these. Um, you know, next month, it's the first Saturday of the month. So that's when we'll be seeing each other again if I don't see you in other areas um, beyond that. Thank you, thank you, thank you, thank you, thank you for being here with me today. Thank you for being you. And Thanks for loving the trees, and I will see you soon. Bye-bye.